Western CEOs are coming back from China stunned. They've seen something they never imagined. Factories running 24-7, in total darkness. No workers, no lights, just robots. And they're asking one question. How can we compete with this? Let's rewind a bit. For decades, America couldn't compete with China's due to its cheap labor. That's why your iPhone, which sells for over a thousand dollars, is built in China for under a hundred. The West told itself, it's okay. Labor may be cheap in China, but we still have the innovation and R&D. Well, that gap just closed. Today in 2025, China isn't relying on cheap labor. It's relying on AI, robotics, and automation. Factories that don't need lights. Machines that never sleep, learning, building, improving every second, and manufacturing faster and more efficiently than humans ever could. Executives from Ford said they were humbled, even shocked. Trump wants to make America great again, bring back the factories, the jobs, the pride of American manufacturing. But how do you compete with Chinese factories powered by AI and robotics, machines that never sleep, never get tired, run 24-7 with perfection, and never ask for a paycheck? The irony? Not getting paid for hard work. That's about as un-American as it gets. So what does this mean? It means the old game, cheap Chinese labor versus Western innovation is over. China isn't just a factory of the world anymore. It's the engine behind the next AI revolution, powered by robotics. The West used to invent. It once led the world with every breakthrough. Lift off. Now China invents, builds, and ships all at once. In China, the government, tech giants, and manufacturers move together, like parts of one powerful machine. That level of coordination doesn't exist in the US. And that's what makes China's new industrial system almost impossible to beat. If America couldn't compete with millions of low-wage Chinese workers, how will it ever compete with Chinese robots? Building faster, cheaper, and flawlessly 24 hours a day, seven days a week? This isn't the future. It's already happening in China, and the West is just waking up to it. And many analysts say it's already too late. Let us know if you think it's too late, or is there still time for the West to catch up?